Let's move on to textures. When I'm doing texture overrides in Material Starship, I tend to get a lot of crashes if I have the viewport open. So I'm actually going to go to the render view here, so I don't have the viewport. First of all, we need to have some textures. And we can get some textures through the mocap Viper 3 node. So if you right click it, go to type properties, and then you have all these tabs and you can go to extra files. And here are all the files that are embedded in the HDA. And if we go down to the bottom, we can find these JPEGs, which are different textures. So then you can just click on one of those and then save as file. And I've done that for a few of them. I've chosen three. So I have this one. And I have a more zombie-specific one, and I have this one. Okay, so first let's just add a default texture to the material. So I'm going to go into material, I'm going to go to zombie, and I'm also going to drag up the roughness. And in here I'm going to go to textures, use texture, and then I'm going to point to one of these guys. So let's do, uh, let's do that one. So now all of the zombies is going to have this texture. So how are we going to randomize the texture? I'm going to do that by setting an attribute, an attribute between 0 and 2, so you have 0, 1, and 2, and then I'm going to have three overrides that read that attribute. So I'm going to go into the crowd, and in here I'm going to have an attribute randomize, and the default randomize, if we look at the spreadsheet, is actually now it's to CD. I want to make my custom attribute. I'm going to call this texture. And if we go into texture, we can see first of all it's a vector. So we need to get those dimensions down to one. But it's a float value. And we just want to have three distinct values. So we want everything to be 0. We can choose that if we go to uniform and then discrete. So discrete lets us set the step size. So now you can see all of them are 0 because the step size is 1, and we have a min value of 0, and then a max value of 9, but we want to have a max value of 2. So by doing that, we have a value between 0 and 2. So 0, 1, and 2. Sweet. Okay, so I'm going to close this down, and now it's time to do some overrides. So I'm going to go into the crowd again. I'm going to create a new style. It's going to be zombie style 1. In our case, we're just going to override the texture, but you could override like multiple textures and do other things as well. So we have like all these unique variations. So zombie 1, or zombie 0, because we're going to use this 0 attribute. And I'm going to add a target. Now we don't need to have a sub-target, because we're just going to read an attribute on the pack primitive. So I'm going to have target, and then I'm going to have a condition. And the condition will be point group, because that will let us set the attribute here. So I'm going to set at texture equals to zero. And when we have that, we want to do this override. We're going to set the material parameter. I'm going to choose what parameter we're going to overwrite. So I'm going to go to the material, zombie, and textures, base color, and base color texture here. So now like that, and you can see by default, it just gives us whatever we have set in that parameter already. So we're going to have that for our default zombie. Let's do that, and then let's copy this. So we do copy zombie, and then gonna paste it twice. So with zombie one, I'm gonna rename this to zombie one, and then do a zombie two. And let's have a different override. Let's first of all change the conditions. This one is one, and then we want to have another texture. So I'm gonna go in and select one of my textures. So texture, let's do that texture. And then for this zombie 2, set this texture to 2. And for the texture, let's select the last one, this one. So now we should have, in theory, we should have three different ones. So let's see if we have that. And let's press render. And it doesn't look like it worked. So what have we... What does it? Actually, I'm going to go change one thing in the material here, actually, because we're setting a texture. I'm going to go to material, and then I'm going to stop this, and then I'm going to set the surface color to 1, because that's going to be multiplied with the texture.
So digging around, I realized I'd done a few mistakes actually. So one of the mistakes was that I didn't select the lost node here. But you can see even if I have the lost node selected, I still just have two of that variation, which is a bit odd. To make it easier to see what's going on, I'm going to go to the material, and then I'm going to go to the zombie. And then here in the use texture, I'm just going to delete that texture. So now only the style sheets are giving the texture, and now it's easier to see what's going on. So I have three variations. So what it's doing is taking the points one, two, and three. So if we turn off the ground, wait, I'm going to go out, uh, turn off the environment, and then look at points, you will notice that this is one, and that one is zero, and there's two. And that is because we had a space here in this material style sheet. So if I go to zombie, uh, and see this texture, I can't have that space. So it's just reading this one and setting that. So let's delete that space. And now you can see we have more with that zombie texture. And then if we go to that one and then delete the spaces here. Now we've got those guys. And the last one removes some spaces. And then we got all of them. So now another feature I'm just gonna show you while we're at it. You can also use these to just visualize one override. See, I can select them, and that can be quite handy. And then if you don't want them anymore, you just unselect them all, and then you see everything. Right, okay, cool. So now we have everything ready, and now we can just render this. Oh, I'm gonna show you one last thing. Uh, let's go to Mantra. If you wanna have motion blur, you need to go and check this allow motion blur, but you also need to set this geo time samples over one, otherwise it won't work. Just a little thing to know, and uh, yeah, so to render this, I'm going to drop down another Mantra node. So I'm going to render this out, and after that, let's go into Solaris.